Back at it again for another day. No video yesterday because I was busy, but we got a lot done. Here's one for the lift fetishes out there. A lovely, lovely early 2000s decim lift. Go on, get up there, son. Max load, 2000 kilogram, 26 persons. Oh, it's getting me sopping. It's changed in here a bit since you were last here, hasn't it? Right then, Mon Petit Bambinos. Let's get cracking. First on the agenda today is to do some packing. I've actually picked all the items that I need. They're on this shelf just here. Because as you may notice, the keen viewers of the channel, all my listed stock, most of my listed stock is gone. It's now in the garage. But before they went, I picked out all the stuff that needs to go today. So that's what we're gonna get done today. This is today's agenda. But also, I wanna fill up another trolley of stuff to take back home. Let me give you a quick little tour. Listed stock. All the boxes, most of the boxes are gone. Bagged up, a lot of the stuff that's unlisted. I'm so confused at what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I was giving you a tour. Uh, <laughs> And uh, what am I doing? Yes, stuff that's unlisted and needs to go. Stuff that's listed, I'm gonna see if I can get most of that back today, some of that back today, at least a little bit of that back today. Then I'm gonna clean up all the rubbish from the floor, have a vacuum, I'll put the vacuum on charge, and then just start making some sense of the place and start putting things in order so then it's actually got some sort of order to it. Does that make sense? Yeah, good. Just drop my phone again. So just like I've done a few times, oh, there it is. I lost my bankers, I just found it. I opened another one, it was there, didn't I? I opened a fresh one, but I didn't need to. Yeah, yesterday I made some good progress on moving stuff around, taking stuff back to the garage, and then setting it up in the garage as a workable space. I actually took 12 photographs and listed 12 things yesterday. For the first time in a very, very, very long time. And I mean a very long time, like too long. But I've been busy and you know, I've been working. What can I, what can I say? Something else is taking over. What can I do? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I thought you better change again, but I just pressed the wrong button. Right, 10 things going out. And one of them is a semi whopper. A semi, I might as well go and get them all because they're all picked. In fact, I'm gonna make up some boxes first because I know I've got loads of things with boxes to do. So let me get those done. I ordered the tripod from TikTok shop. That should be here today, maybe actually. It's a really tall one. It extends to like seven feet or six feet. Strong and it's got a good twisting on it. So before you go out and buy one, just wait until I get it. Then I can put an affiliate link up. I've got 10 things that have to go out today and two that don't, but I'm gonna send them out as well. Bank balance is dwindling. Dwindling, dwindling. This is what I mean about people thinking other people need to show off about how much they're making and what they're doing and the size of a unit, for example. I literally couldn't give a fuck what anybody thinks about how successful I am. Like I said, as long as I'm paying my bills, I don't care. This is my business account. I bet it's about a grand in it. This is my personal account with about 80 quid in it. And here's my savings account, but the savings account is what I put by every week until it adds up to about a grand and then it gets sent across for all my bills. So I'm, I've got fuck all. Obviously I've got a few hundred pending on eBay. I've got a few hundred pending on YouTube. I've got a few hundred pending from outside of all of that as well. A few deals going on outside, which is not a lot, still not a lot. People expect, you know, me showing you my bank accounts is just to put a nail in the coffin of people thinking I care about what people think about what I think I'm doing, all right? I've just showed you, I've got about 1,400 quid to my name. Couldn't give a shit. I'm not doing this to show off. Um, anybody who thinks that, you're just gonna miss out, aren't you? 
Okay, let me grab a few things. I'm actually going to leave them down there because it's easier for me to pick them. £9.99 vintage St. Michael's soap, bath, flannel, and talcum powder set. I'm pretty sure I paid £2 from that from a charity shop ages ago. Is that even plugged in or what? Yes. Among Us figurine set. There's about four or five in there. Sold for eight pounds and three postage. Yeah, I'll just slam it in there. And that Among Us set has gone to Scotland. So Tam and Bell. You're all right. I've just blocked the Highlands, man. It sounds shifty, but you don't get told beforehand that every or ever's going to charge you more. No, don't use Royal Mail. So shh. Dark Royal Mail. Royal Fail. Next, for £15, is a bundle of train cartridges and carriages, etc., etc. 15 quid. 15 squidder. 15 pounds. 15 pound. 15 pound. Can I fit in that? That'd be great if I do. No. More that in there. There's no way that's more than a kilo, is it? No. I need to trust my instincts sometimes because normally I'm correct when it comes to guessing weight, not always. I'd hate to guess my own weight. Well, this one's a bit annoying. I can't pack it because I need to go home and get the rest of it. But it's a Dyson vacuum cleaning set. There should be a purple bit in there as well. I've obviously left it in the box. So I'll probably just buy the label, take the box home, finish it off there, obviously. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, eight pound, I think I said, I might have said, not too sure. I haven't even taken a screenshot for the bank account yet. So it's probably gonna be less than a grand hour for this postage. I'm just not bothered about what people think like that. You know, I, I don't have a investment business where I need you to think I'm doing better than I am. I don't have anything. I'm not trying to teach you how to be good resellers. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not tech in sports. He needs to be having money because he's got a program. Um, I love his, I love his videos, by the way. I do love his videos. I think what he's doing is great. I think his mindset is fantastic. I would never join his group though, only because I'm not a very good learner when it comes to things like that. I need to learn as I go. And there's plenty of information out there for free, but not to say his group isn't worth it. It is. I've seen the results of some of the people that are in it. Some of the people that are in it are close friends of mine that we speak daily. And they're doing very well from the tips and tricks and ideas and mentorship from him. I am going to shut up about it now because it's almost like a free plug. <laughs> and I'm not plugging or trying to get you to go over there. Not saying you shouldn't either. I'm just saying it's, I'm just, I'm just speaking from, I'm just speaking as me. Speaking as me, my, my views, my views. And his video last night is why it's probably on my mind. Why did I say that? Oh yeah, because I don't care what people think about how much money I've got. I'm not trying to. I'm not, I'm not someone like that. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, have you pay for something on the back of my success. I'm successful in my own right. Just not financially. Right. Shit, I forgot to tell you what that was. That was the Extreme Ghostbusters bike. Remember from ages and ages and ages and ages and ages and ages and ages ago? Well, I finally listed it the other day. It's scrapped, loads wrong with it. It's only for like, what did it go for in the end? $13.99. All of my stuff is free postage, by the way. You know I like to have a fiddle. Sometimes it's postage, sometimes it's free. One month it could be not, one month it, do you know what I mean? Just the way I do things.
I'm just going to put this in a box because there is a box there. However, normally I wouldn't because of what it is. But vintage 1986 WWF Tiger Cub, £6.80. Pop it in the box. Little blanket. There we go. Right. Can't wait to get this postage done. I'm looking forward to loading the trolley up again. HP Inc. HP number 27 expired 2006. Sold for six pounds. Six pounds. Made it sound like I was going to say something else, didn't I? This one I probably will put into a bag because, you know, we've got a small box knocking around. No, probably put it into that. There you go. Holly Mailer. Got to need some tea, by the way. Battery operated rolling gibbon monkey. Quite a cool little piece. You turn it on and he sort of like moves his arms down and rolls and flips and turns around. Sold for £12.74. I'm going to go in my gut. There's no way that is over a kilo. No way. It's a cool name. And these, I do believe, I can't guarantee it, because I haven't had a response back from her yet. But I think, I think these are from the lovely Cass. So, because I've not had a response back from you yet. Oh, the glasses fell out of that one. There you go. I did mention it had a bit of a thing just there anyway. Um, because you've not like come back to me yet i can't give you a full-on shout out but cass if it is you which i think it is massively appreciated they are i should show you shouldn't i norman thelwell prints i listed them wait what was that quite cheap to be fair uh sold on an offer of 22 pounds 50. so i appreciate that cass if it's you let me know. I'll, I'll shout you out in the next one. Not that you're probably bothered about a shout out, but I'd just like to show my appreciation. So really appreciate it, mate. Let's also bear in mind, there is every possibility that Cash just bought them because she liked them, not knowing it's from me. But, but still, thank you. So Cass, if you're watching, each frame has paper wrapping, then bubble wrap, then cardboard backing, then bubble wrap. We're gonna go over all of that. Then we're just going to stick a label on it. No, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Oh, look at that. I've had my, my old scales for like four or five years. I've just looked in the box. There's a charger for them. I had no idea. There, there was um, mains operated as well. That could have been handy many, many times when I ran out of batteries. Yeah, look on the label, look. Delivered. It's an old Hermes label. 25th of the 6th, 2019. So nearly five years I had those. They still work. Just fancied an upgrade and actually I prefer my old ones. But ain't that life. The grass ain't always greener. One last one that has to go out today. And I might do the other two as well. Let's have a look at what they are. Like I said, they've got important things to be doing. Oh no, I'm gonna send those out. I'm we'll setting those up for sure. Two more of those LED drivers sold for six ninety nine each. So, and these are honestly so easy to pack. Half of these more like selling them. <laughs> I might even ship that one as well. Can I be bothered? Now I'm going to pick it down. because all that stuff needs to come down. But I've got a electric oven grill thingy sold for 10 pounds, 80 pence. I'll put it up there. But this does have to go today, this next one. This is a Tascam Porter Studio. So it's a cassette Porter Studio. Really, really nice piece of kit. Tascam normally holds a good value. Anyway, these sell for 600 pound plus with the charger and everything. This, 
don't have a charger. The chargers cost 80 to 90 pound. You can get a cheap one as well, but I don't really want to trust it. Even the 80 to 90 pound ones are not genuine manufacturers. I just didn't see the point in investing that kind of money to get it to find it doesn't work anyway. So I sold it for spares, repairs, parts, untested, unchecked, as is, blah, 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 blah. You know the drill by now. And we got full asking price of £159.99, which is still cheap. I've seen them go for two, two fifty, sometimes three hundred without a charger untested. And especially the condition this is in, it is minty. But it's a risk, isn't it? So um just glad to move it on. £159.99. I've got a pack that's well. Packing is gonna be easy. Well, wrapping it is. I think I've, I think I've got a box for it. Because it's the perfect size of this bubble wrap. Look. Give it a, a ton of layers of that. A ton of layers that way around. A ton of layers that way around as well. I've got to find a box. And I think, I think one of those will do it. I think. I think, I think, I think. I'm not sure, I think. Maybe. I think. It's looking good. Booyakasha. Cool. thought I was finished packing but normally I'd cut this down however I've changed my mind I'm actually gonna harvest some more card create like a spring action on top so this one goes that way this one goes that way so when I release it, it brings itself back up again and then I'm gonna close that down turn it over and go again on the other side unless the other side feels like it's securely packed I can feel the tension of that card already springing up, trying to trying to reopen again, which of course creates a down tension if you do it on both sides. Physics, baby. Well, I think the bottom's actually okay. I'm gonna leave the bottom. The size of this parcel is what might shag me though, and I can't find my tape measure. I haven't found it for like a month. So I might have to suck it up and just send it with every. I can't measure it for my other couriers. Hmm. How much are ever going to try and charge me insured? Like 18 quid? If it's less than 20 quid, I'll, I'll just send it with every. I don't care. And what's it weigh? I'm going to say it weighs 4.4 kilos. 5.95 that's annoying not just because i was wrong but because it puts it into a higher bracket so six pound 12 uninsured that's not bad 1566 insured with every dpd insured is 1505 obviously i can't measure it ups is 1583 yeah so i can't measure it still can't measure it so i've got to go with what i know is 120 kilos which is every 
and that parcel is just jumped up to six kilos. Right, every fully insured, 15.66 on a 159 pound sale, 10 percent of the price. Fuck it, done. And that's my postage done. Apart from that cooker, which means I can get on with the more important jobs. I say more important, like postage isn't important. It is, but you know, I want to get out of this unit. I want to get into. I want to get back into my garage. I want it nice and cosy. Like I said, I had a practice one in it yesterday. Really enjoyed it. Right. Okay. I don't even know where to start, if I'm honest. Um, Because basically I've got another bag of stuff that I need to bring in from the garage and put in here for storage for a bit. So I've got to work all that out as well. I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute while I just try and figure stuff out. I'll come back once I've got a plan-ish. I said I was going to think about my plan of action then come back, but of course I just carried on actioning. So we've got quite a little bit sorted out. I took a bag outside again ready to go home. A few little bits sorted out ready for this kind of unlisted stuff. Now I'm going to vacuum the floor and then tidy up this section here, which should give me some clarity then so I know what's going on. So that's my job. I have been working, just forgot to record, all right? But eventually we're going to go home back to the garage and I'll give you a quick tour of how the garage is looking, if you bothered. Right, there we go so far. What a difference. What a difference. This is all ready to be taken on the next load. We've cleared all that. This is obviously what I'm working out of. And this is to be half, I mean, I half cleared this and half sorted it. Just got to take all these off and put them where they need to go. Then they'll be down and they'll be gone as well. And then it's just this in the middle. So a stark contrast of where it was this morning. But I'll see you back at the garage. Change of plan, I've just put that in the car. I don't feel comfortable leaving with all that space there. So I'm going to go put some more in, I think. Back in we go. You don't often see this lift, to be honest with you. It's a good one. This one's an open elevator. <sighs> yeah, after I put that in the car, I can't justify leaving a whole room space full of stuff and I've got all that to bring. So for the sake of another journey upstairs and another journey downstairs, I might as well go and take another trolley load, don't I? It's the right thing to do. Because I'm juggling tasks at the moment. I'll talk about it more when I get to the garage, but I'm juggling things at the minute. I've got to prioritise. I'm not very good at that. Hot, mate. Let's go. Good drive. Good Right, okay. What can I take? I can definitely take that, I think. Yeah. I think I can definitely take this Amazon box. But this is all going in the bin. This is my old racking. I'm going to put that in the bin at some point. Is that stuff that I want to bring back? Yeah, it is. Right, what else can I bring? That's rubbish. Over there. That's just boxes. Oh. <laughs> Definitely just broke it, I think. Oh well. well what else can come? That's going to stay. That'll go over there. That's all stay. That's got to come back, I suppose. And that can actually go as well. That can go over there. That can go over there. I'll take that back. I need to take this back, this back, and that. Um. No, I think that one extra box is fine. I think we'll just leave it at that one extra box. That's fine. That's good. Considering I was going to leave it. That would have been a waste, wouldn't it? That's better, isn't it? Can't be wasting space or trips.
I've just pulled up at home and there's a parcel waiting for me, but I don't even remember ordering it. But take a look at this. It's got to be from the group chat because Ricky relapse. Now, the joke there is the fact that I haven't actually um, quit vaping and I've my screen time's gone back up again. So, should we open it and see what it is? I might have ordered something, I just don't remember. Probably one of their fucking whatnot streams. Let's have a look. Let's take a look. I think it's John because of the packaging and obviously the banter. Because John's kind of funny. Oh yeah, I ordered a fucking t-shirt, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I ordered a t-shirt. I do remember that. Yay, football cards. Uh, paid 20 quid for this. John got it the other day, he was going to list it. And I was like, nah, I'm having that. It's a modern one, I think it's like 2021, 2022, I think. By the look of the tag. Let's have a look. But, how sick is that? So you've got like an Adidas, I think it's like a bear, polar bear, or something. Could, I'd say gorilla, but I don't think it is. It could even be mountains, I don't know. But Adidas Adventure, nice, I think it's triple XL. 2XL. Nice, big, baggy one. Beautiful. Cheers, John, your tosser. Right, let's go and get this garage open. I'll give you a quick little tour. Is there something else in there? There's something else in there. Charity bag. This thing opens so slow. It's starting to rain, so I need to be quick. There we go, we're getting there. We're moving in slowly but surely. Starting to get the screw system in. Obviously, these are not 80 litres. I think they're like 60 litres. So I'm actually getting 80 litre boxes because I've measured everything so it fits perfectly. So these will all be 80, saving on this space up here. And yeah, I mean, there's not really much else to show you really apart from that. So let me go and get these two bags in. So quickly running out of space, but I'm not worried about it because once I've actually organized these shelves and organized everything, it's gonna be absolutely fine. And I'm gonna use temporarily these last two for the stuff that I've already got. So I don't really need to go sourcing. So when I do eventually get to a car boot sale, which will probably be this weekend if it's on, I'm buying, but I'm being picky. Whereas before I pick up like one pound into fives and whatever else, I don't need to, I'm hungry. So what I'm gonna do is go in there, I think, and edit this video that we've been filming today and get some food. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I really appreciate you all for watching. If you wouldn't mind liking the video on the way out, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Take care, see you in the next one. Bye. Well, I'm gonna get some grub, grub, grub in my tub. Tub? Tum.